Uh, this uh, video is for my friend Chris out in Virginia. Uh, it's showing a mooring block system that we've uh, built several of. Uh, this isn't actually all my idea. Um, we saw somebody casting a little thin piece of pipe inside their block to run a rope through and uh, kind of expanded on this. Uh, this is uh, uh, that gray conduit, that electrical conduit. Uh, you can get that six, four inch conduit. This works really good. What uh, most people do is they cast their cement block and they put an eye bolt in it. Well, that's working 24-7 out here in the current and the waves and they just, they get, they break off and you have no idea the condition of it unless you dive down. The uh, concept on this is you don't have to dive down. You do have this loop. You do have maybe a little bit more chance to catch, uh, you know, driftwood and kelp. But uh, so far ours work pretty good here and uh, we're on our second season on it and uh, on uh, the, the cable, the stainless steel cable. We have another one we're on about four years with a rope, but the rope's gotten jammed up with cable. I'll have to tow it ashore and clean it up. But I think I'm gonna go with stainless. It's more expensive, but it's really strong. So that's just a, a continuous loop that goes through. You can uh, you know adjust it to get the chafing away. We've got the radius here um, to kind of protect the cable if it gets dragged down a little tight. We have about 14 foot swing. Here's an extra pipe here. If you want to put another, tie some blocks together or have a, another chain. So this conduit, uh, the electrical conduit, they actually have a bell as they call it. It goes on here. It gives a really nice radius. I don't have that drawn in. But uh, this is about 1,500 pound block uh, that we have. and I can drag that out myself without having to have him help and then like I said this stainless cable and it works really well you just know that um, that cable just can't you can't pull it through the block I've got uh, galvanized uh, rebar in here if you use regular steel rebar in the salt water it will expand and start cracking the block as it rusts concrete is not waterproof it does uh, let water in so we just cast those our uh, fourth fifth block uh, they work great so I think we've got it got it dialed in now and uh, yeah, like I said you can use rope if you want and, and uh, we're, we're trying cable on one of them and storm comes up I just uh, tie several of my buoys together I'm gonna make a third one next summer and uh, we'll show that on YouTube and Chris uh, is in Virginia where they have hurricanes, so I thought I might show show this in better detail. He's got several anchors that he uses to keep his boat off the dock. But the problem with anchors, they, they like to dig and sink in and the more you pull on. This is, uh, if you build the right size uh, block, you're, you're going to have a lot of, lot of strength there. I uh, hope that works for you, Chris.